This is a video showing the changing of the heads for the polar graphic solution type dissolved oxygen sensor. So I have laid out here all the materials that we'll need. We have the uh, probe head, we have the replacement cap, and the end cap, the membrane, polar graphic solution, and tweezers. So the first step we'll have is we'll also have to have the paper towels to take up any spills that might happen. First, grasping the top of the probe and uh, loosening the top of the original probe. Place this over the paper towel as this may or may not leak, depending on if it's, depending if it's filled with solution. The solution's been removed for, uh, from this probe head for this demonstration. This is the original cap. There is no dividing line within it. That's different than the replacement cap that will be used with the removable membranes. This is a two-part cap that will uh, screw back on the head of the dissolved oxygen probe. We'll now get the replacement membrane. We'll place it over the top of the cap, and then the protective cover will then uh, center that. We'll place the cover over the top, making sure that the grooved end is facing away from the, uh, the part that screws onto the uh, dissolved oxygen probe head. With that firmly in place, you'll place that upright, and using the uh, syringe that comes with the polar graphic solution, you'll fill that uh, head with the polar graphic solution. Now, in this next step, you're going to actually have some overflow because you're going to want it, that will remove all of the uh, gas bubbles from the probe head. And now you're ready to start collecting data. In preparing to collect data, you'll need to have the proper burn-in time for the probe head to remove any residual dissolved oxygen within the polar graphic solution.